Yo, what's everybody? It's your boy Sean Brooks back again with some old content. Still, I still don't have, you know, like, and, you know, the Sean be nice is a heat, like the heat rock thing. That was, that was fire. You know what I mean? Like it really was, but I don't know. I don't know. Lenovo was great. You know what I'm saying? Lenovo, <laughs> rock with your boy as usual, send me the Lenovo Yoga A940. Now we'll be doing a, a full in depth review of this thing. But again, since I'm over here rebranding my channel to kind of give you guys more of a like video production process, I want to let you guys know if this thing is worth your money as far as in regards to editing. Um, the only thing we'll be editing today is just photos. Um, I would probably do a separate video for video editing, but right now there's gonna be photos because the fact that you can flip down the screen, we'll pull it down just like a Microsoft Studio. I'm really interested in that, especially when I'm editing photos in Lightroom. So we're gonna see what that whole process is like and see if it's like, if it's making my life easier or more cumbersome. So let's dive right in. So let's just start. I've, I've already got one photo pulled up here. Now let's see, you know, if having this, the stylus, having this big display, how it's gonna work out. Okay, so this one here, I've already done this photo before. Let's see how the scrolling is gonna be. So scrolling, it's, it's pretty, pretty decent, so let's, find something that we wanna work on. I don't wanna work on this photo here because we've already done this one before. Okay, so here we have the photo. Let's go ahead and, first of all, we definitely wanna add some more color to this, right? We definitely wanna do that. Uh, we'll probably add some sharpness to the nose ring. Then we'll also maybe brighten up the hair a little bit. So let's just see what we can do and again, this is not for me like to, I'm not going like super, super in detail because I'm not like a super crazy photographer like that, but I'm pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? Y'all seen your boy work. Let's go ahead and open up all these options since we got this huge old display here. All right, so first thing first, let's go ahead and see what we can do with the exposure. I'm gonna brighten it up just a smidget, okay, like that. Let's bring the highlights down just a little bit here. Shadows, how are we looking at shadows? We can crush those just a little bit gonna make those blacks just a little bit richer. All right, so so far I'm already liking it. So for those who don't know, when you, you know, bring the blacks down, actually you're bringing out just a little bit more color. So we, as you can see, we have like a little bit more color in her hair and her shirt. Soften up her skin just a little bit. See that? Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. So plus six on the clarity, negative four on the texture, just to kind of smooth out that skin a little bit. So not, not um, noise reduction, but like it's a, I was, I'm, I'm gonna call it a skin smoother. Go ahead, go up to color. Temp, it's a, it was a summer day, so we're gonna make this a tad bit warmer. Tank, sometimes on a GH5, you do have more of a pinkish hue, so sometimes I bring that uh, I bring that pink down. That's a smidgen, not too much. Well, see the pinkish or greenish, I can't remember the, the two. Do that, just plus 16, vibrance. Let's go ahead and crank that up just like a little bit there, saturation. Got skin look a little bit too orange. So we're gonna put the saturation there. Let's see what we can do with these curves real quick. All right, so actually, hey, let's go to orange. Let's bring the orange down. That's a, that's a smidgen. Now my lady out here looking too foul out here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to this pink. See what we can do with there. So, all right, that looks that looks pretty good. I like her hair. That's kind of like how it is lifelike. So we're gonna do that. Now, I actually wanna kind of get into the very uh, detailed type of editing. So let's go ahead and see how it's gonna look here. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in. And let's go ahead and grab, go to the brush, bring the size down just a little bit. And let's, okay. So I, I, I made some adjustments and uh, changed the color to green. Hopefully, I think, well, I think, uh, I think red's probably gonna show better. So I'll switch it back to red. But here I'm gonna make the adjustments as far as kind of make sure I get everything of this ring here. What I'm gonna do is gonna change the contrast up a little bit, boost the clarity. I want that to be like really defined. Then we put some texture in there to see how that looks. Now let's go ahead and back out and let's see how it's looking. Okay, so it's like a little bit too bright. So let's bring that down. That's a little smidget. All right, actually, I like that. I like that right there. So hopefully you can see it on screen. I zoom back in. Uh, this brought the brightness down just a little bit because I kind of want the gold to still look good. And I added some more texture and clarity to it. Let's go ahead and add some sharpness. And I think that's good to go. Go ahead and back out that picture a little bit. Now, if we wanted to, we can do something with the blues. If we want this purse here, this purse strap to stand out a little bit more, let's go adjust that real quick. So let's get off of this brush. All right, let's go to the blues. So that's more of like a teal, I would say. Or maybe it's a straight blue, let's try that. 
All right, so if we wanted to, we can make it a teal. And I think the teal, I think the teal and her hair matches very well together. Um, not trying to go too much for a teal and orange look, but nonetheless, I think this really works pretty well. Let's go ahead and see how the saturation gonna look. We boost that up a little bit. I like that. All right, so let's check out these greens real quick. I think the greens, let's see how we wanna do that. Greens is a little bit too green. So we can bring the greens down. We can saturate them a little bit. The luminance, about right there. Her skin tone, skin tone is good. Don't wanna, don't wanna overdo it on that too much. But honestly, this is, I will be cool with this. Like, I will be cool with this photo here. Not too much more we can do with this. Actually, we can go ahead and leave this alone. Uh, but just for the sake of the video, we're going to ahead and do another edit on the video. I mean, another edit on the photo. So let's see. Let's find another photo we can edit that we can have some fun with. All right, let's see what we can do with my nephew and my sister-in-law graduating for her, with her master. Let's see what we can do with this photo. Again, uh, what we can do, we probably just take the moles off his face. Not saying I would actually do that on a photo, but we we'll probably just take the moles off his face just to see how it is to kind of make those fine-tuned precision uh, edits. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and go to the, the healing brush. Go ahead and bow. Okay, a little bit too strong. Go ahead and bring that size down. So about a one. We ain't trying to go too, too crazy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I would normally take that into Photoshop just to be real. But let's see how, uh, let's see how it handles. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, see again, now you can kind of make those very fine tuned precisions. Again, let's go ahead and get rid of all of that. Yeah, we wanted to get rid of, let's see, he think he has like some, some marks over here. Get rid of those. I'm telling y'all right now, out the gate right now, that's kind of making these adjustments now. I'm definitely feeling it. I'm definitely feeling the fact that I can zoom in and get this type of precision with this pen here if need be. Again, you know what I mean? Again, I would mostly do most of that in Photoshop, but I like the fact that you can definitely zoom in and use a stylus specifically for that. So let's go ahead and try to do something a little bit different. Uh, let's maybe do some with his teeth here. Maybe we want to make those like super, super crazy bright. I hit crop. So let's go ahead and go to the brush again. Let's go ahead and color those teeth. Make sure we can see the overlay. All right, we can see the overlay now. It is red. Let's go ahead and uh, brighten that up crazy light. Uh, some, con <laughs> some contrast, add some more whites in there. And let's see how it looks. All right, see something like that? That looks crazy. As y'all can see his teeth, I made them like super, super bright. But again, you can make those very small, like if you, even if you wanna get closer, you can get the teeth in the back here. You want, you want all them joints white, you can do it just like that. Let's say if you wanna go ahead and change, let's see if we could change, even change the color a little bit to like something like purple. All right, let's show the overlay. Hide the overlay. And that's how it will look, okay? That's, again, I wouldn't recommend that you do that, but it's just something so you can see the type of precision that you can get. Again, I am not super, super crazy with photo edits, but just so you guys can get an idea, I'm pretty sure this is still, yeah. It was still in pink. <laughs> All right, now that we fixed that. Okay, again, you can get really, really detailed when you're making these edits, so you can make sure you get all those dark corners we are sharpening his eyes, brighten them up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and crank that exposure just to make it scary bright white. All right, let's see how you look. I'm pretty sure you look crazy. Yeah, so <laughs> this would be a, a, a scary photo. I'm, not, I'm probably gonna send this to him just to be funny, but this would be a scary photo that you can do, just something to have fun with. Now, let's talk about the overall experience a little bit more uh, on cam now. Like now that you guys saw the machine in work a little bit with Lightroom and Photoshop, I know you guys are probably gonna ask, well, hey, Sean, you know, just to kind of do those type of fine precision edits, would you still recommend this for like 2,600 bucks? That's the retail price for this, if I'm not mistaken, but at least for the model that I have. So to kind of give you, like, just give you just some quick details, the model that I have is a 27 inch display, has Dolby Vision, um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of hard drive storage, 256 gigabytes of SSD, and um, it's a 4K display, 100% Adobe RGB. So honestly, if you are gonna be doing editing, this is kind of good for $2,600.
can I warrant that? I'm gonna be real with y'all. I, for if if you're a professional, like if this is what you do, I would definitely say yeah, grab it for the 2600. They do have some models I think it's gonna go up as high as 3500. That's a little bit out of my price range, but for 2600, I really think that's a soft spot. And the reason I say that is because it is. If we just compare it to the Microsoft Studio, this is not a comparison video, but if we compare it to Microsoft Studio, uh, like if for that same type of version, you looking at like around 3600 bucks. And to be honest. I'm digging this, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm really, really feeling editing photos on here. I will be doing like a lot more. I do have some more professional work coming up. So I will be doing like a lot more editing, but the next video we do, we're gonna be doing video editing. We're gonna see how that handles, having this big old display, color grading, color corrections, and stuff like that. Um, we'll be shooting vlog, and we'll probably edit the video that I'll probably be talking to you on. So if you guys have any other questions, maybe it's something you want me to edit some more, if you want me to edit some more photos or edit your photos, send me your photos. Uh, you send your photos to sbrooks at brooksmedia.com. I edit your photos, bring them over to here, and kind of see what else we can do as far as fine tuning. So the Lenovo, 8, the Lenovo Yoga A940 is not actually out yet, but when it does come out, I definitely feel you should give this thing a solid look just due to the fact that you have this big display and you're able to make those precision type edits. So if you got any other questions, comment down below. Please like the video, share the video, comment, all that good stuff, man. Try to go ahead and just rebrand my channel to something a little bit more useful, stuff like this. Other than that, it's your boy Sean Brooks, and I'm out, man. Catch you in the next one.